Hey guys, what is going on? This is Eric from Steel Labs and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to merge orders in Shopify. Sometimes customers place orders one after another directly and eventually you're going to ship it out in two different packages, pay double for shipping and the customer is going to get a horrible customer experience. What if you can actually merge these orders together, ship them together, save a lot of money on shipping and refund this excess shipping fee for the customer and provide an awesome customer experience? All right, let's just jump into the video and I'll show you how to get it done. By default, this is not something that is possible within Shopify capabilities, but we've created an app for you that's called Order Merger. You can find it on the Shopify App Store. So if you just head over to the Shopify App Store and search for Order Merger, you're going to find it. And what Order Merger basically does is two things. It allows you to either merge orders automatically based on rules you define, or it allows you to merge orders manually. Uh, and that's where you select multiple orders and just combine them into a single order. Now, it also allows you to do a bunch of other stuff like tagging and adding order notes to the original order and the new order and it allows you to notify the customer when these orders are being merged so let me just show you what it looks like Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to select a plan for order merger. If you're just a small store, I would suggest going with the merge as you go plan. So the way the plans are going is basically you get a bunch of free merges per plan and then the additional cost per merge is going to decline as the plan you select grows. So the pay per merge plan includes five merges per month and then each additional merge is going to be 50 cents per merge. And then the basic plan is going to be $10 a month and it's going to be 35 free merges every month and then each additional merge is going to cost 30 cents. The pro plan is going to be $20 a month and it's going to include 100 merges and 20 cents for each additional merge and you can see the way it goes. By the way, all features are included in all the features so you don't really have to worry about that. For the sake of the example, I'm just going to select the basic plan. Once you've selected the plan, you'll have to go through this quick onboarding process that's going to define how you want the app to work. Now, it's important to mention that this app is very sensitive. So if you're not 100% sure how to set it up right, please make sure to contact our support live chat team in the bottom left corner of the screen. They're going to be available for you 24 seven and they're awesome. So the first step would be to define the merging rules. These are automated rules that are going to define if two orders are eligible for merge or not. The built-in rules are the customer ID must be identical and the shipping address must be identical. And we don't allow you to change these rules since they are pretty much fundamental for a merge. Now, by clicking the end condition, you can choose any of the following conditions, either time since the last customer order, first order fulfillment status, financial status, shipping address, shipping carrier, order tag, customer tag, and all products are available at location for those of you who have multiple locations. What we recommend adding is just past order fulfillment status and fulfilled. Okay, you want to make sure that both orders are for the same customer, the same address, and they're both unfulfilled. Now you can add multiple conditions, but these are just the ones that we recommend. And the second part would be to choose the merge delay time. Now this is important because many stores have all sorts of automations that starts running right after an order comes in. So what we allow you to do is just to choose how long after an order comes in, we're going to check the merge rules to see if the orders are eligible for a merge. Now by default, it set to 10 seconds, uh, which I think is good enough for the sake of the example, so I'm just gonna hit next. The next step would be conflict handling. The way order merger works is, let's say we have order A and order B, we're going to combine them into order C. Now, many times order A and order B are going to be a little bit different. And every time we see a conflict, we need to choose which parameter is going to be where and where should we take the value from. Let's start with the shipping rate to keep. You can choose from which order you want to keep the shipping rate. You can either keep the most expensive one, the cheapest one, combining them or completely ignoring that. I'm going to select it to keep the most expensive shipping rate and and then you can also keep any shipping rate that is not used in the merge order, which is going to provide even better customer experience. Let's assume that you offer free shipping over, I don't know, $100 and you want to check this condition on both orders. We've added an option to refund all shipping rates for all merged orders if the total price of the merge order is greater than, and then you can choose the value. So if we said $100, then that's great. And then let's say that the customer is going to place one order for $40 and another 
another order for another $120, we're going to refund the entire shipping rate from both orders and the customer is going to get free shipping for both orders. I'm just going to disable this for now and I'm going to keep the most expensive shipping rate. We also need to decide about the new order shipping method name. Again, you can choose everything you want from the following options. When order tags are exist, you can either discard them, keep some of them or keep all of them. I'm just going to set it up to keep all order tags. When refunded items exist in the merged orders, let's say that you have one order with two items, one of them was refunded and the other one still exists in the order and there is another order with just two items. When you combine these orders, you can either choose to have all four items or just discard the one that is already refunded. So we're just going to keep it that way. And then the new order name, you can either choose to combine the new order names and let's say that you have order 1001 and 1003. The name of the new order is just going to be this, combined. All right, another option would be just keep the order name in ascending order. So let's say that you have 1001 and 1003, the next order should be 1004. So that's going to be the order name. And you can also create a custom name with some dynamic tags. So you can do, let's say, most recent order name and then your store name. Let's just do it random. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it at combined. And then you can do the same for the tax name. You can choose if you want to do the original tax name from both orders, or you can just do the original tax values. You can create any type of tax name you want. You can do the exact same thing for the discount name. Again, you have some dynamic tags here, or you can just use something that is pre-made. So for the tax name, I'm just gonna use original tax names. And for the discount names, I'm just gonna use the original discount names. And then when any other conflict occurs, just keep settings from the most most recent order. That sounds great. Moving on to the next step, this is order actions and this page will allow you to add new notes, tags and perform some other actions to the original orders and to the new merged orders. So let's talk about new orders. Let's say that you want to tag your orders with the original order names. And this way, let's say that we have order 1001 and 1002 and we combine them into 1003, then order 1003 going to have the tag 1001, 1002. Too, which is great you can also add some custom tags in here and then with order notes again same idea you can add an order note to the new order so let's do here merged from and then original order names perfect and then order financial status now guys this is very important i highly recommend set it up to zero value the thing is, Shopify doesn't allow us to ignore any analytics generated by a new order, even if it's created via API. That means this checkbox is not going to be checked. We're not going to set the value of the merged order to zero, and then that's going to count as revenue in your store. We created this option just to make sure that we don't mess up your store's analytics. Moving on to the original orders, this is pretty much the same thing. With order tagging, what we can do is just add the new order name, and with order nodes, we can do merge to and then the new order name on merge date okay looks great now another thing you can do with the original orders is first archive them which we highly recommend and another thing you can do is just cancel the original orders it's important to mention we do not refund the original orders we just cancel them because that's going to clear it up in many fulfillment systems so that's highly recommended and then another thing you can do is restock items on order canceling which we don't recommend but again it really depends on how your business works moving on to the next step the only thing you have to do right now is just an enable automatic merge. You can also skip this stage if you're not sure yet. And this is what your dashboard looks like. You have an option to just disable the app right from here. You can see here how many merges you have left and your plan, you can change it out later. Here you're going to be able to see some stats from the last 30 days and you're going to be able to see your automated rules. On the automatic merge page, you're going to be able to edit everything we just went through in the onboarding process. In a manual merge page, this is very easy. All you have to do is just insert the order IDs that you you want to merge and then just go through the conflict handling for these orders and then just click the merge button. Another option order merger allows is just to send customer notification and this will allow you to send an email to the customer whenever you merge two or more orders and you can pick everything here from the email subject line and some dynamic tags add your logo email header or text body etc. Once you're done you can preview this email just to see what it looks like and enable this feature by clicking the save button. Now that the app is enabled, let's just run through a quick test to show you what the app is going to look like on a real store. Let's head over to the store and place two test orders from the same customer, one after another. 
this looks like a cool product. Okay, perfect, so we've placed the first order. Now let's head over back to the store and place another order from the same customer. Okay guys, now before I complete the order, let me just show you what it looks like in Shopify. If we head over back to the orders page, we're going to be able to see the first order, which is unfulfilled, and we paid, I think, $3 for shipping for that order. And for the new order, I selected the same shipping fee, and we've selected to actually refund any excess shipping fee from this merged order. So we actually should see a refund of $3 for the merged orders let's see if it's working right let's complete the second order and wait 10 seconds for the app to check if these two orders are eligible for a merge okay so the order is complete let's just refresh the Shopify orders page and here are the two orders now let's just wait 10 seconds let's refresh the page and as you can see, we have two orders that are now canceled and we got the new order according to the order name we chose, set up to zero revenue, not to mess up our analytics. Let's have a closer look inside the three orders to see what it looks like. Order 21746, you can see that the order is now canceled and archived. And we can see that we have the order note merged to this order on this date. And we also added the tag of the new merged order. Let's look at the second order and here the same idea, merge to the merged order and the date and the date of the merged order and let's have a look at the merged order. Perfect. And as you can see, all the orders are in one order. The order was merged from these two orders on this date. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You now know how to merge orders in Shopify and provide an awesome customer experience. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button so you know whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions, just make sure to comment them in the comment section below and we will make sure to answer each and every one of you. I'll see you on the next video.